Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Cyanet Television. We're going to be going outside the studio in a minute. A uh, little bit of a background story on this before we do. Uh, here at Cyanet Television, we're really honoured to have a great crew who work with us here in Cyanet TV. And one of them happens to be Kevin. Now, Kevin has a motorcycle, which he occasionally takes to work from time to time. And him and Chris got together in the lower basement of the building, probably late at night while having some beverages, and decided that they were going to do something interesting with respect to a JW speaker product. It's the 8700 series motorcycle light. Kevin has a motorcycle. You'll see him in shot right now. There he is. He's in shot right now. He's waved, waved to Kevin. So anyway, we're going to be going outside the studio right now. I'm going to let Kevin and Chris tell you a little bit about this product from JW Speaker. Let's go outside. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us here on SirenNet Television. I am joined by one of my co-workers, Kevins, who works behind the scenes with us here at SirenNet. He's brought in his 1980 Kawasaki KZ750, and Kevin has admitted the old headlight, the standard 7-inch halogen, is tired and worn out, and is just not giving him the output he wants for nighttime riding. So what we're going to do is an upgrade from our friends at JW Speaker. This is their 8700 Evolution 2 7-inch LED headlight. So we're going to dress up Kevin's 1980 platform, get rid of 1980s technology, and put in a high-performing product to match the standards of 2016. So here is a look at the process for doing the conversion on Kevin's headlight. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the retaining screws so that I can get the bezel and the whole headlight assembly out of the motorcycle. Now that the bezel screws are removed, we can go ahead and remove the headlight and retainer ring assembly. And with that removed, I'll go ahead and disconnect the wiring from the back of the light itself. With the wires removed, I've made my way up to the studio to do the conversion for getting the old 80s headlight out and the JW8700 Evolution in. So what I'm going to be doing here is disassembling the fixture. So it's a matter of removing the outer trim ring, the inner trim ring, getting the incandescent housing out of the way, and then retrofitting in our JW speaker product. So it's really just a matter in this case with our 1980 Kawasaki platform of bringing in a Phillips head screwdriver and two different bits for changing out the screws holding the assembly together. The first thing I am going to do is up here on the front outer screw is get that removed. And this is actually the angle adjustment screw for the light fixture itself. So with that being tied onto the actual bezel, we'll still be able to properly aim the LED upgrade. With our light angle screw completely loosened, don't forget to keep an eye on this small plastic square retainer on the back, because if you lose that, you are going to have a hard time finding a replacement. We'll go ahead now, follow over to the other two retainer screws into the bottom of the housing. And with the removal of two more small retainer screws, we can separate the bezels. So here is a look at the factory bezel for the headlight itself. And here is the retainer screw and spring for the angle adjustment. So make sure to keep those little components together so nothing gets lost in the process. Next thing we're going to do to get the incandescent fixture and the remaining trim rings separated is follow by removing the additional two inset retaining screws. And with the retaining screws removed, we can go ahead and make the final ring separation. So there is a look at the three pieces in a bit of hardware that we're going to take and reuse with the 8700 Evolution 2. So get that tired old 80s H4 7 inch fixture completely out of the way. So I'll start with the base trim ring here. 
And looking in this, you can see that there are some inset notches. Those are going to correspond to alignment tabs on the back of the JW headlight. So we will go ahead, slide this into place, and go ahead and start the alignment process. Also, when it comes to reassembling this, make sure that the orientation of your JW LED headlight is correct. So the top is the top, the bottom is the bottom. Because after you've gone through and done this conversion and get to the point of reinstalling it into the motorcycle's front retaining bezel, you're not gonna wanna have to take it out and do the process again to simply flip flop things over. We'll now take the aluminum retainer ring here and align the tabs. And go ahead, slide it around our JW speaker headlight. So from here, we'll go ahead and simply get the two pieces sandwiched together for adding the retaining screws back into place for locking these two assemblies together. So we'll go ahead, take a retaining screw, add it back in place here. And for right now, all I'm going to do is just barely thread it in so that the fixtures are holding themselves together. We'll go ahead, follow suit with the same side here, adding in the other small retainer screw. going to go ahead quickly, check the alignment, make sure that everything is looking correct and placed together properly thus far. And with that, everything looks good. So I'll go ahead, get these two screws tightened back down. And with everything locked into place, it is now time to take our other retainer trim ring and add that onto our fixture that we're recreating. And then don't forget that you're gonna need to add your headlight angling screw. So make sure to get everything lined up so that you can add this back into place before this is ready to go back into the front of the motorcycle. Spring, don't forget to add that in. And by compressing the spring and the screw itself, we can add the cap back onto the top. And we'll go ahead, do the rest of the angling and the alignment with the JW upgrade once this is all back into the motorcycle. So from here, I can now go ahead and reinsert the last two retainer screws for the reconstruction of our bezel. And voila, we are now ready to get this into Kevin's Kawasaki. So we're back outside and Kevin's headlight is rejoining his motorcycle, just getting the last screw tightened up, finishing up our conversion. So now that that is all done, for those of you who have been enjoying our presentation so far, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So Kevin's already gone out, done some riding with the Kawasaki using the incandescent headlight. He's now going to go out, use his new LED upgrade, and do the same route so you guys can see an appropriate side-by-side -side comparison of the two.
Well, thank you, Kevin, for that awesome riding footage that you put together for us. I know I'm impressed, to say the least. Well, thank you, Chris. I, I uh, was totally amazed myself. As soon as I turned the light on that night and uh, saw how it lit up the night and then took it out for that ride down that road, I could not believe how well I could see the road, how I could see both sides of the road, how I could see the signs better. I mean, the output from this thing just blew me away. Awesome is an understatement. Well, dude, that's great. I am so happy to hear that. And again, thank you for letting me do the upgrade on your bike. Well, thank you for doing it. Of course, it's been fun. Well, that's gonna do it here for us on Sirenet Television. I'm Chris, this is Kevin. What else can we say, but back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it. Kevin and Chris and the JW Speaker 8700 series motorcycle light. Kevin was very instrumental in the production of this particular video, so big shout out to Kevin. Well done, Kevin. I'm Stuart. You've been watching Sirenet Television. Have a great day.